What's up, everybody? I am DJ Casio, and welcome to Talking All That Cas. Now, what is Talking All That Cas? Real quick, breaking it down before I even get to that. Let me tell you this: if you want to know anything, you want to connect with me on social media, go to this address right here: www.djcasio.com. All right, all my stuff's up there: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff is up there. Okay, now. For 27 years, over 27 years, I've been hosting a weekly radio show here at 90.9 FM KHTC in Salinas, California. Every one of the shows I've ever done that's in my library is now online. You can go to this address right here, mixcloud.com forward slash DJ underscore Casio to hear all the shows, all the music, all the interviews, everything. Okay? Now, speaking of interviews. Maybe you don't have the time to go to Mixcloud and listen to the full shows because there's thousands of hours of stuff to listen to. If that's the case, this is what Talking All That Cows is for. I've isolated all the interviews, taken the interview clips, put them in video form, and I'm posting them up here on YouTube for you guys to check out in a shorter time. All right? So you can just go, pick out whatever interview you want to check out, and here it is, okay? So, without further ado, let's see what I got in store for you this time around. This is KHDC, Tular Salinas, 90.9 FM, and K281BR Hollister, Radio Bilingüe, National Latino Public Radio Network. Esta es KHDC, Tular Salinas. 90.9 FM y K281 BR Hollister 104.1 FM Radio Bilingüe La Red Nacional de Radio Pública Latina Indeed, you know what time it is A little bit past 7 o'clock right here 90.9 FM KHTC Radio Bilingüe In Santa Cruz and Monterey Counties 104.1 FM if you're out there in San Benito County and streaming live everywhere on the planet right now at WednesdayRec.com. Yours truly, Casio in the building, and I'm joined right now by a very special guest. I've known this cat for a few years, a couple years. Uh, he goes by the name of LC, Lyrical C, um, or Zar Mega, if you will. Uh, what's up, man? Lyrical C, what's up? What's going on here? Where's my man at? Okay, let me see. Everything is down. All the buttons are right. Put it back on hold and go. Lyrical C. I'm here. Okay. What's good with you? Now I got you. Now I got you. That, that was weird, man. I was talking to you for a second. People probably thought I was talking to myself. But, uh, nah, nah. I was, I was not talking to myself. I was, ta- I was saying, was... saying you're being generous because... Uh... It's been a, it's been a while, man. Longer than a few years. Yeah, just ju- just a couple, just a couple, <laughs> man. You know, I, you know. So I mean, I, I I if I think back properly, I think I met you through Motion Man. Was that was that the right spot? That's right. Yeah, him and Kurt. So so you you were actually like road managing for Motion for a minute, right? Yeah, I was actually. Um, I man, it's, it's a long story, but I was. When they, they did Masters of Illusion, so Motion and I had, um, I met him prior at KZXD camp uh-huh. at Kevin Kevin Kurt's show. And we just, you know, we got cool on music and he had, you know, got on the song with me and, uh, and helped me get a distribution deal with TRC. Right. So I got a distribution deal to TRC because he helped me get that. And then, uh, they did Masters of Illusion. And so, for whatever reason, Keith couldn't go on tour when they went on tour, man. So, Kurt and him took me on tour to actually, and let me actually just write my own, you know, basically rap my own rap, do my own parts instead of Keith's parts on a few songs. Okay. Songs during okay. the show. So, yeah, so that's how, yeah, so that's how it all came together. And, and uh, yeah, I think you posted a picture from one of the shows after. Yeah, you guys actually, yeah. you, you know, you came through town, you were down at the Catalyst in Santa Cruz, and um, I remember, yeah, the picture, we were at the merch table, and, uh, you know, somebody snapped the picture real quick, and uh, yeah, I, I put it up, and, uh, you know, good times, man, way back in the day, so that was probably like around right. two, 2002, 2003, 
some right. somewhere yeah. around there. But uh, yeah. you, you know, so I mean, connected with Motion Man, obviously somebody who's had a lot of tour experience, had a lot of um, experience, you know, promoting his music and, and whatnot. What kind of things do you learn from him? And, you know, as far as like applicating it to to your projects. You know, uh, gosh, I, I, it's, that is the business, man. You know, I mean, I, I, I say that, but I, I learned the business side of everything. Uh, and, and you know, I, I was still somewhat young and, and just kind of really running from Kurt, too, just what it was like to go on tour and, and you know, not trying to make it a party, right? Mm-hmm. Like, actually, um, you know, I remember the first time I went to Europe with them, and um, I think we were in Denmark or somewhere. And so, we, you know, Kurt was already there. And Motion and I got there. And we got there in the morning. And so I was like, oh, I'm, I want to go around and see the city. And right. I ran into Kurt as I was walking around. Right? And there was this festival. And so I run into Kurt. And he was like, hey, you need to go back to the hotel and go to sleep. Like, we got a show tonight. You can't be out here. Because he was already adjusted to the time. So right, right. Just little, little things like that. I mean, just little things like that where, you know, you, I understood it with the business and and uh, and really just, you know, how to how to kind of do it yourself, you know, how, how to really kind of put out your own record and, and how to take care of that business yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure that, you know, at, at first, the very first thought, though, like, Kurt's like, hey, man, you need to go back to the hotel. You're probably like, what are you doing out here? <laughs> nah, you know, you, you're telling I me. To... I mean, <laughs> I, well, see, like, I mean, I met Kurt when I was, like, probably 18 or something like that. I right. was young. And, and uh, so by the time we were doing that, he was, he was already, like, cut out. You know, he had already produced for a bunch of people and was doing stuff. And... You know, I was just listening. Like, I actually went back to the hotel. <laughs> like, I'm right. like, okay. Because I was just, you know, I was grateful to be there. And it was kind of like him and Motion were like big brothers. So I didn't want to mess it up, man. <laughs> I was like, all right, let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah e- 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 even even though they steered you in the way of like you know being all about business, you gotta you you must have some funny motion stories. I mean, who doesn't have a funny motion man story? I mean, I could I could I could fill up three hours just talking about yeah. some of the voicemails I get from that guy every now and then. You know, at, at like you know midnight on a Friday when he's had a, a couple tall ones, <laughs> those messages are pretty funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first. Uh... The first time I met him, uh, hopefully you won't kill him. So the first time I met him, we had, we had met a KZSU, and he was like, hey, you make beats? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I rap too. He's like, oh, I just wanted to make beats. Right. And so uh, so he, he came over like that Monday, and uh, man, we sat and we kicked it, and he must have killed, uh, it was like a six, six tall can, six pack of tall Old English. And like I think it was like two twenty two, and uh, and then he just jumped in his car and was like, "All right, man, walk." <laughs> I'll see. So, uh, I was like, "Wait, no, you can't." Do-. And uh, yeah, that was probably my first one where I was like, "Wow!" And then I was worried, man, because I didn't talk to him for like I think two days later. See, and, here, uh, here, here's yeah. what's, here's what's crazy about that because back in the day, I I had like um. I, I had like made he he heard some beat that I had put together. It was like some little you know just generic beat, and he's like, "Hey, that, that, that sounds kind of good. Are you doing anything with that?" I said, "Well, I'd like to use it for an intro to my show." He's like, "Well, let me rhyme on it." I said, "All right, cool." So he came down to my house, and I met him at the liquor store. He bought a couple forties of old English, and I ordered some pizza. He comes to my house, he drinks the forties, has a couple slices of pizza, knocks out a verse in like maybe you know a half hour, and he goes, "Okay, I'm out here later." <laughs> okay. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> you know. All right. <laughs> well, thanks. You know, but no, it, it was all good, man. So let's uh, let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk about. Um, now, am I saying it right? Is it Czar Mega or Caesar Mega? Caesar. That's, Caesar that's one of my other names, L Caesar. Okay. So, yeah, Caesar Mega. Caesar so, Mega. So, yeah. so, so talk to me about Caesar Mega. How this project come about? And um, you know, tell me a little bit about the song we're going to jump into, featuring Mr. Fab. Yeah, so uh, my dude, Mega Man, we used to work at Tower Records together. And uh, a long time ago, in Mountain View. <laughs> right. And so we, we've been friends the whole time. And uh, he's kind of, uh, 
down with uh, what's the cat? Uh, I can't even think of it. Uh, <laughs> I can't even think of it right now. Was He's it down with like feel the agony and, and all them cats? Bar- barbershop, and, barbershop. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's the feel and and Crondon and Mickey Slick? Right. They have man. right. And uh, and uh, I'm I'm just brain farting, so excuse me. Uh-huh. And um, so he he's you know knows Raz and all these cats. So we kind of just been doing our own thing over the years. And I actually was just you know living life. And he came out. He came up to me and was like, "Man, you ready to do a record?" And so it kind of started like that. And you know we we just started recording stuff. And then as stuff started to come along, we started kind of using the people we knew to get on it. And mm-hmm. so. He's actually a friend of Fab too, so um, you know we got Fab on it. I, I I thought it was pretty cool because you don't know, usually hear Fab on hip hop stuff, you know, like you know what I mean. Like, right, right. The music's different, but I think it's a cool thing because it shows his range and, and he kills it. So yeah, it just came together like that, man. We have we got Razzcast on the album, uh, D Wise is on the album. Uh, this guy in uh, the, in Memphis named Mr. Ski, who uh, Hustle and Flow, the movie Hustle and Flow, mm-hmm. uh, is after him. DJ, is it, that's who the, <laughs> the movie's after him. He's on there. Uh, uh, Motion's on there. Uh, trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody. And uh, Tri-State is on there as well. So um, yeah, man, just it started coming together with with different MCs that we knew, and yeah, we ended up putting out this record and. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like it, man. Well, it, it definitely made me do a double take the first time I read it, and it, it said, you know, it was you guys featuring uh, Mr. Fab, and it made me do a double take. Like, when I first saw that Motion did a song with E-40, I was like, what? What is that right. about? You know? <laughs> right. but, but but the but the record works. The record is solid as hell. So, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm assuming the rest of the album is going to be, you know, along those lines, right? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely along those lines. I think, you know, there's a little bit of a, you know, not to sound kind of cliche, but it's a little, it's, it's all hip-hop, you know what I mean? Like, it's all boom bap and, and, and hip-hop as we know it, mm-hmm. but there's there's different, I would say, variations of it. You know, different songs will kind of maybe remind you of a different group or a different type of hip-hop, you know? Right. But, right. Um, you know, none of it is, none of it, I mean, we, we're, we're a couple of real dudes, man, so, you know, parents and raising kids, husbands, so none of it is, is, you know, all of it's kind of just real, man. Like, I think I think a lot of people can relate to it, you know what I mean? We, we kind of rap about the lives that all of us live, not not the lives that we all wish we live. Yeah, right, yeah. So when, when are we expecting that album? It's out. It's oh, out. oh, it's out. So, so, yeah, I mean, so... <laughs> See, I didn't even know. So, yeah. I didn't even know. It's out. It's been, it's been out for a little while, man. Um, and it just, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, you know, you, you've you been DJing for a long time. It just it ended up, you know, kind of catching catching on a little bit later. Right, and, right. Uh, but, there's, but there's new stuff coming. Well, so I, I don't know if you wanted to ask or anything, but there's definitely new stuff coming with, with Caesar Mega and with myself and with Motion as well. So, oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. yeah. Oh boy! Well, hey man, you you know, um, as we were you know kind of discussing it um, when we were trading messages, um, hopefully once all this uh, all this madness you know gets back to some kind of normalcy, uh, I would love to have you in studio, man, so we could get a little more in depth and uh, you know play you know get into some some deeper stuff. So hopefully uh, that'll be sooner than later, you know. I hope so, man. I got family in Salinas, man. So yeah, well, that's all. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, yeah. Make a day of it. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely would, man. I, I'm looking forward to it. Well, you know what? Right on, man. We're, we're definitely going to make that happen. So before I let you go, man, let's uh, let's give out all the social media so people can uh, keep up with you, and then we'll jump into the uh, I'm that dude. Cool, man. Uh, so uh, Instagram. If, if you uh, got Instagram, you want to follow me. It's uh, lyrical C underscore C underscore L C. If you want to follow Caesar Mega the group, it's C Z R M G A at C Z R M G A. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you know, get at me there. I, that's that's usually the most uh, I'm, I'm most active on Instagram. So right. 
Right. If you're going to catch me, you'll catch me there for sure. Yeah, that is true. He he is on Instagram a lot. So, yeah, make sure <laughs> make sure you check for him. My man, uh, LC, Lyrical C, Czar Mega, uh, Caesar Mega, Lyrical Caesar, thousand different names. <laughs> you know, it, it's almost like when, I, when I'm talking to... Uh, to motion, it's like, well, I don't know, do I call him Clifton? Do I call him, you know, this or that? You know, sometimes I call him by his real name, and he's like, hey, don't call me that. <laughs> nah, when we, <laughs> when we, when we uh, do our thing, man, it's going to be, it's going to be lyrical to your motion, man. So that, that's what's up right all there. The, yeah, yeah, it'll just be, the whole, it's funny, because LC is, is Kurt. <laughs> Kurt just gave me that. Right. And then LC is his motion, man, so all the side names came from him. I guess they didn't like lyrical too. <laughs> I mean, hey man, Motion once signed a uh, an eight by ten for me, and he and he, he he dressed it to Sonic the Hedgehog. I was like, I'm not Sonic, dude. What are you talking about? So anyway, man. So anyway, hey man, really good, really good having you call in tonight, talking to you. Um, I'm gonna I'll, I'll get at you a little bit later on uh, through yeah, uh, please, direct man. message, and um, we'll uh, we'll we'll catch up and we'll debrief, so to speak, but. Again, man, this right here, Caesar Mega. This one is I'm That Dude featuring Mr. Fab. And um, I'll talk to you soon, man. All right? All right, man. Appreciate you. All right. Got you, man. Peace.